Breaking news right now. Stu is overhead in Van Nuys with the latest on the search for the suspect who shot a CHP officer overnight. Hi, Stu. What are you seeing? Well, we actually know that for that, that suspect or the who they believe was that shooter has been taken into custody in a homeless encampment out here in Van Nuys. This is going to be on Gloria between Wyandotte and Sherman Way. They were actually using dogs. A, a bloodhound dog was the one that was leading the officers and this task force along with the California Highway Patrol. Clearly, they had a hit in the area, that, and it got very intense for a while. They were walking through this area. They were checking these homeless encampments, and then they took two people into custody. One of them believed to be that shooter and that from last night's incident where that California Highway Patrol officer was shot during a traffic stop. Right now, though, it is very much a crime scene out here. Law enforcement locking down the area. They're trying to keep that tent where they took those two people into custody. They're as sterile as possible. They're also calling for an ambulance, but they're making it very clear that this has nothing to do with that suspect going into custody. Apparently, that suspect was injured from something that happened last night. Right now, though, you can see this happen on Wyandotte, I'm sorry, excuse me, on Gloria near Wyandotte. This is a residential area, and it's actually very close to the uh, Sherman Way post office. No traffic issues for anybody. I'm Stu up in Sky Fox. We'll be back. Have you up there, and you're on the scene. This is really a, an important development because we know that the manhunt looking for this suspect has been going on for quite some time. Obviously, the incident happened yesterday, and the CHP officer is still suffering serious injuries because of this. And uh, tell us more about what you can tell us from here in terms of those two suspects in custody right now. But obviously, they are confirming that one of them is the man that they're looking for involved in this shooting. The other person that they took into, into, into custody, that would they believe to be the shooter. Uh, they both are probably on the lower part of the screen. They did call for an ambulance. Again, that is not related to that suspect being taken into custody. They made that very clear. This is something they, this person was injured prior to them taking this taking them into custody right now though a large police presence out here clearly this is a huge task force involving the uh, LAPD and the California Highway Patrol media there on the ground as well but they do have two people in custody they did call this officially a code for meaning that the person that they were looking for in custody now to get that final solid confirmation that this is the shooter that will be on our assignment desk they'll do that probably later on this uh, in the morning but right Right now, we can tell you that a lot of police activity out here. This is a, if, if this is the person, which they really do believe it is, extremely dangerous person. And of course, our hearts go out to that California Highway Patrol officer who is still in serious condition at that local hospital, just doing a traffic stop last night, altercation, shots fired, that CSP officer sent to the hospital with gunshot wounds. And now, we believe that suspect in custody, the person you see screen it with the cuffs on we do not believe that that is the actual suspect the suspect was another person that they taken but away to a different location but these two were together when that suspect was taken into custody again Sherman Way this is happening on Gloria right at Sherman Way in Gloria but uh, it, again though this is going to be a crime scene they want to keep this as sterile as possible when investigators arrive out here but uh, we d believe that that shooter from that officer being shot yesterday evening now in custody.